starting to get nervous now. It looks way taller than what we jumped at Cowerton for. <laughs> Lee Ann! Lee Ann! Lee Ann! It's gonna be like walking the plank. Oh, whoa. Oh. Marhaba, marhaba. Marhaba. So for the next three days we're going to be sailing here on the southern side of Turkey and we're going to be stopping at a few spots. Now in this video we're going to show you exactly what it looks like on the very first day on going on one of these cruises here in the southern side of Turkey. This is going to be exciting. Getting shown to our cabin now. I'm super excited to see how the rooms look. How cool is this? My first time ever on a sailboat, so I think this experience is going to be awesome. We'll show you the rest of the sailboat later. How cute is our little room? We get our own little room. This is so cute. Check our room. <laughs> oh my gosh, we even have our own bathroom. And check our bathroom. We have a toilet and a sink. That is so sick. And here's the shower. <laughs> it's gonna be so unique, but I think it's gonna be so, so cool. This is so awesome. Can literally sit here and, and relax sometime. while sailing the Mediterranean. This is gonna be amazing. I think this is gonna be my spot for a while, or for the whole three days. So we'll give you a tour of the boat in a different video, but for now, let's go sailing. It's clearly 12 o'clock somewhere in the world, right? This is so refreshing. The water is such a good temperature that it cools you off. <laughs> it's been so hot on the boat. <laughs> wow, the boat's been rocking. You obviously been shifting side to side and I've already earned myself my first bruise. I don't know where I knocked it, but my leg is almost blue. <laughs> Here's a bruise. Ow, don't touch it. <laughs> you can't poke it, it's so sore. <laughs> oh, this looks absolutely amazing. It's like a whole buffet of food here. We have an entire feast over here. Is it good? This food is absolutely delicious. Oh my goodness. Be careful, okay. Okay. Give me some water. Thank you. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> Made it. <laughs> Somehow. Oh. 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 Wait, oh. 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 Wow. Getting on these things are not easy. <laughs> I think our dinghy is half sinking. Santa ben de kendime daktım. Sen inmen lazım. Neden olmaz? Ola ola ola. It's quite difficult to get off the boat with the waves breaking and there's so many rocks on this beach as well. Hi. Hi. Welcome, my friend. Two people, please. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. So right now our first stop of the day is Butterfly Valley and this valley gets its name from all the different species of butterfly that can be found here. Apparently scientists have found about 105 different species belonging to about 15 different families but we're on this path right now on the way to go and discover this waterfall and hopefully along the way we're able to spot some of those beautiful butterflies as well. These butterfly. Where? Ugh oh, man, I was getting so excited. There's a butterfly. I'm joking. Yeah, now I'm not going to trust you when you say there is one. Until I actually meet yeah. it and then you don't have one. It's like the little boy who cried wolf. <laughs> Where? Uh, you see, now I'm not going to trust anyone. <laughs> We're starting to hear water but still have seen... No butterflies. <laughs> so I think the butterflies only come out during the evening. Times are when it's much cooler. Because at the moment, that's hot. Definitely wearing the wrong shoes. Okay, throw it. Thank you. They said that the hike was not too hectic here in Butterfly Valley, but I'm definitely seeing more rocks than butterflies. And we found our waterfall. 
instead of this massive one here. It's a shame, really. Well, seeing that we made the effort to come here, I might as well go under it, right? It's so cold. Oh, that is so worth it. <laughs> I want to go down. Woo! 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 <laughs> it looks way taller than what we jumped at Cowerton Falls. <laughs> but you can do it. Ooh, so I'm getting those heart palpitations again. <laughs> you can do it. Just commit. <gasps> Don't hesitate. <laughs> you can do it. Five minutes later. You just need to leap forward. Come on. Six and a half hours later. Lee Ann! Lee Ann! Lee Ann! Lee Ann! Lee Ann! Lee Ann! Okay. Oh, baby, you can do it. You overthink it. You so when doing such activities, you need to have excellent travel insurance and that is why we use Safety Wing. So it doesn't matter if you're on holiday for a day or months on end or even on holiday right now and you don't have travel insurance, Safety Wing has you covered and it doesn't matter what country you're in. Not only are you able to cover your family under one account, but if you're a nomad like us, then Safety Wing is perfect for you as there is no expiry date. Simply start or end your cover whenever you want. Safety Wing not only covers you for injuries or health related issues, but they also cover you for unforeseen circumstances such as lost baggage or flight delays. Let's not forget COVID, they cover you for that too. So whether you're a digital nomad, going on holiday or on holiday right now, then Safety Wing is the choice for you. So we'll leave a link in the description below. But right now, back to the video. So it looks like they're planning where we're going to be docking tonight and how they're going to tie the boat. So this guy's actually taking the rope too hook it to the rocks over there and then we'll anchor it here to the boat and we're anchored now this is the place where we're going to be sleeping tonight as the water is so flat so we won't be rocking ourselves to sleep and probably getting sick because this is the first time we are doing a sailing cruise we were thinking we we're gonna get like seasick but so far not our uber has arrived Go Uber. So we are on our way to St. Nicholas Island in order to climb the mountain and watch the sunset. There are some ruins on the mountain which are going to be pretty epic to explore. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. And like we did earlier today, we're hiking again in Pluckies. Songs, Teneles, so many countries have different names for them. But climbing off a boat, why would I be wearing shoes? Just doesn't make sense, right? So we're walking now to the top of this hill on St. Nicholas Island and this island in Turkish is called the Gimla Island. Excuse me if I am pronouncing that wrong, but the Turkish name is translated to the island of boats and St. Nicholas was the patriarch saint of sailors. So that is why it is called uh, the St. Nicholas Island or a nicer term to think of it, the Santa Claus Island. So how cool is it that Santa Claus was actually on this island. I read a board earlier on that said that there's actually some claims that he actually lived here at a stage. And I'm talking about like a thousand five hundred years ago, which is absolutely crazy. But where are all the presents? That means there must be presents on this island, right? <laughs> Santa Claus is here, definitely. Not a lot of snow, but I don't know, maybe you like the views that we're about to see. <laughs> Behind me you can actually see all the ruins. It's pretty cool that half of it's just like still standing and we get to like witness this. It's amazing. Yeah. Look at how cool this is. Like you can see this is possibly a church from the height and the arches that you see there on top. I'm just trying to think what destroyed this, like all of these churches. I know that earthquakes hit this area a long time ago and that is why you get the sunken city which we'll be seeing in a few days time but 
I'm wondering if that same earthquake maybe destroyed these buildings. These archways behind me are clearly an easy way to recognize Byzantine architecture because they have them everywhere in that era. Do you think Santa Claus was a priest? Could be. He was a saint after all. How incredible is this? An archway that's still standing after a thousand five hundred years. And come and look at this. You can see the resemblance of the church over here. Look at that. You can see the dome at the top. That's incredible. Wow. I can imagine how cool all of this probably looked so many years ago. I wish it wasn't destroyed. It would have been an amazing ancient city to see. But still seeing it like this is unique on its own. Check this out. They've got a picture here of St. Nicholas. I don't know exactly how he looks, but I think because this is St. Nicholas Island, this has to be him. I'm wondering if the sunset view is going to be as amazing as all these structures. Because <laughs> I, for one, love history and I love architecture. And over here, I'm getting all of that. But I also love sunsets too. Well, let me tell you, flip-flops or pluckies as we call them, are not actually that bad for hiking. This view, wow, it's incredible. I can't imagine how it's gonna look at the top. And... We've made it. <laughs> but look how incredible this view is. Just getting a bird's eye view almost and seeing all of these yachts parked in this bay, it's stunning. Look at this view around us. We've got 360 views on St. Nicholas Island. <laughs> Everywhere. Just look. It's crazy. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. So that is day one of our Gulet cruise here in the southern side of Turkey on the Mediterranean Sea. So far, it's been amazing. Awesome. Will you jump, sweetie? Of course. <laughs>